to the live final of Britain's Got Talent, where all ten acts are dreaming of that place at this year's Royal Variety performance. Our final act tonight are from London, and they're about to spend their Saturday night with their tops off, flinging themselves all over the place and making people scream with shock. Which, coincidentally, is exactly how Ant spent last Saturday night. <laughs> You're never drinking cider again. OK. It's Spellbound. <laughs> Are you all pleased? We are spellbound. I have never seen anything like that in my life. Outstanding. That was extraordinary. Absolutely super. Spellbound! Oh my god, it's fantastic. I cannot believe we made the final. I had to hold back the tears at the semi-final. The kids did me proud in every single way possible. We have never had anything like Spellbound on Britain's Got Talent before. They are truly amazing. We spent years dedicating our lives to our gymnastics training. From a young age when I started gymnastics, I've always known that that's what I wanted to do. It's always been a great thrill. To win the competition, it'd just be great to show that what we've been doing has paid off and it has all been worth it. We're putting a lot of pressure on ourselves. After our semi-final, we were back in the gym the next day to get the moves higher, harder, more exciting. We want to go out there and do the best routine we possibly can. It has to be right. Live show, final, very, very complicated act. It just takes one person to fall down, the whole lot comes crashing down. We've only got one chance to go out there and show people that we can do things that they might not have even thought are humanly possible. We just want to show them that we are worthy of the, being the winners of Britain's Got Talent. It's the last act of this year's final. It's Spellbound! <laughs> Absolutely to plan. I mean, we've been practicing. This is the third routine we've done, and this is by far felt the best. And Amanda, thank you for letting me fly over your head. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't think she had any choice about it. She didn't know. <laughs> Since you went through from the semi-final, I know you've just been straight back in that gym, haven't you? Straight in there, rehearsing, rehearsing, rehearsing. Long days. Lots Very of extremely long days. You know, we've been in there at half past six in the morning, and then we're going to do our full-time jobs or school, then we're going back in the evening. We haven't been getting home till, like, half past eleven on the evening, so... Well, I tell you, it paid off, all that dedication. 
I get up. And, and not only that, you, you're, um, you're getting ready for the World Championships as well at the same time. So you've got Britain's Got Talent and the World Championships working very hard. Well done tonight. Thank you. Well done. We'll Thank see you. what the judges made of it. They were on their feet at the end of your performance. Piers. Well, just when we think you can't top what you did before, you start lobbing each other over the judges' bit. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was going on? Um, what can I say about, about you that hasn't already been said by the three of us, other than the purpose of this show is to identify hidden great British talent and to find talent that's good enough to grace the royal family, the royal variety show, and then to go further, you know, to go around the world as a flag bearer for this country and to show the world just how good Britain is. You are that act. Amanda. I literally am running out of adjectives to describe you. you you're so professional and so slick and disciplined. And, you know, we are hosting the 2012 Olympics and I think what a brilliant really? opening act. Salmon. That's exactly what I was thinking. I mean, and actually putting it into Olympic terms, I mean, that would have won the gold medal. <laughs> I mean, seriously. All you did, I mean, just to be clear, you threw somebody from there over to the stage, <laughs> right? Of course it. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, honestly, guys, I know, and, and as Piers and Amanda said, we, we've used a lot of adjectives uh, <laughs> to describe you lot. I can only say, on live TV, that was one of the most astonishing things I've ever seen. Seriously. <laughs> This week seems to have paid off, huh? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we, we don't even know what to think in a minute. It's just crazy. Everything to take in. It's just, it's just amazing. Well, <laughs> it's hard to sum it up. It's been, yeah, I'm speechless. I mean, it's just amazing. Well, <laughs> and the very good news is we've had no broken bones and no injuries. <laughs> but there's still an hour to go. <laughs> if Spellbound are your winners, then the number to call is all I know. Come on. 22-22-10. Calls cost 50 pence from BT Landline. Calls from other networks may be higher and from mobiles will be considerably more. 15 pence from each ball goes to the Royal Variety Charity. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time. Last act of the night, Spellbound. <laughs>